Okay, welcome back to ANS Way. We are here in West Summerlin at Woodside Homes. And what are we doing, Ant? We potentially have some money coming available in within the next month or so. So we're out here looking for investment properties because we're trying to decide between investing back into the UK okay, yeah. or investing here. We recently came to Woodside Homes Obsidian and absolutely love nearly all of the properties they had on show here so we're considering looking at the four models three models plus one yes and seeing whether we want to put our money in here and we thought we would take you on a tour of the homes the first property we're going to look at is the amber home type it is just under 1900 square foot actually and tested me on my what i thought because i walked in the first time we came here i walked into here walked around it's like how big do you think this is and it's deceptive but i knew it was large and this is the thing about these properties but this is the first home we're going to check out you come in on the ground level this is a three story one isn't it this is three stories and you come in on the of course the ground level but the ground level is a like living area it's a, currently a living, like a bonus room living area, which is really nice. And the space opens out onto the back yard, which is tiny and we'll show you. Um, but this can be converted into a third bedroom. Yes. Oh, thing to note, they're two beds by standard, and then they can be converted into three beds if you want. Downstairs restroom, or what are they called, WCs? WCs. They've gone for a much higher quality finish here than at the other Woodside site. I think it's to lift elevate the property so this is a much nicer upgrade than what was available on ours the flooring is really nice also and they've got modern cupboards with soft clothes uh, i think these five panel doors are exactly what we've chosen i believe they're the ones that we've picked for our home So out of the show homes, I, I was just saying, I think this is the largest backyard space you can get. Um, I don't know across the whole development, but it's certainly of the show homes. And we were discussing, this is probably, you don't want it any smaller than this yeah. if you're having a backyard, but I believe a lot of them are smaller than this. Yeah. So this is the second floor if you're in the US or what I would call the first floor in the UK and is definitely something I absolutely love about this, uh, what do you call it, house, townhome we would call it in the UK. Yeah, we would detached um, townhome. You come into this very open planned kitchen living space. But what I love the most is the high ceiling. So the way they've done it is that you've got lots of windows bringing in lots of light. And for me, that's something that I thought was really impressive when I walked in here. I completely agree with that. It's, I don't know how well it will come across on the camera, but they are visually super impressive from the inside, which a lot of houses aren't. They're more impressive from outside. But the grandeur of the, I don't know what this would be, 20 foot, ceilings um what is really interesting is these are 1900 square foot i think you said and in my head that's a small house but our home in the uk the largest one is only 1410 square feet so the reason why it feels so big is because it is there's only two bedrooms in here so you can use the space elsewhere as you mentioned it's three stories so a lot of that space is on the upstairs and the downstairs, but this living area feels really nice and roomy. And I can imagine young professionals in here. Yeah, and I, the first thing I would say is it feels cozy, which coming from UK homes, we typically don't find US homes feeling cozy. This does have that cozy, homely feel, I would say. So it's our second time in here, isn't it? And this it's still got that wow factor yeah. for me. Ultra wide steps. So a normal step might finish about there. So this is about twice as wide as you'd normally expect. They've gone for a really nice upgraded stair rail as well. Upgraded flooring. Over in the kitchen, this might be, I'm not sure if this is a standard option. Um, it's probably an upgrade, but what they've gone for is the open apron 
front, which is an option you really liked, wasn't I it? I really wanted this, um, but yeah, I really, really like it. And also, the other thing to point out is the appliances, cafe appliances. Cafe appliances. I think they're really nice with that accent. I also find in this these particular model homes that they've done a better job of making the overall kitchen far more modern. And you can see, look at that. Well, can you hear that? You can't <laughs> hear it. <laughs> yeah, soft clothes. Uh, what else have we got? We've got storage cupboard, which I think is great in terms of space. And me and Ant were just saying, so this is a another WC on the first or second floor, depending on how you name it. But great views over the strip when you come to the bathroom. So the next feature down here, which is very nice, or up here, first stroke second floor is it's got a balcony area so not only do you get the outdoor space you get a really nice size and to give some perspective look you've got a full size four chair dining table yet you can walk all the way around it still and even if the um, lot that you get isn't great, you're still going to get some really nice views, no matter which way you're facing. Yeah, this is one of the th So for me, with this particular apartment, it's this floor, the high ceilings, the windows, the light, but also the fact that you get this balcony area and that you can appreciate the views. And depending on the plot that you get, you'll get these great views of the strip itself. So this is one of my favourite places. Here's the one snag. Same level because for whatever reason, in the US it seems to be very common that your master suite is on the same level as the living area. So the master suite here is directly off of the living room. The one saving grace is, I'm pretty sure, we haven't been through there, but I'm pretty sure that's also where the laundry is. So there is a little bit of a gap before you get to the bedroom. I would say it's not the worst in terms of some of these single story homes where literally the master suite is right next to it, but you've got this bit of a corridor, very large, what would you call this, like storage area? No, that's the laundry room. Oh, this is the laundry room. Yeah, you can oh, tell by yeah. all of the laundry <laughs> <you> fittings. <laughs> so it's got water in, natural gas, story. and the waste pipe. Is it like a cupboard, like a wardrobe cupboard? lots of light in this room so the first thing i really think of are there's window here three window panels across by the side so lots of light that gets into the bedroom which both me and Aunt love now mm -hmm. because we get sunshine most days walking through so the bedroom itself is a very nice size it's bigger than any of the bedrooms we've had in the uk more than big enough and they don't have to pretend with these beds here so this will be a normal size bed whereas in the uk they create these smaller beds it makes the room look bigger and they also put full size cabinets in so you can kind of tell the space you're getting by the size of the furniture that goes you in the what? room it's very true that he says that so it's not uncommon in the uk for them to have what i call baby furniture they're not even like real pieces of furniture that you would ever really use as an adult to give perception of a larger space this is super impressive so it's an absolutely huge bathroom area one thing let's back out slightly notice this isn't the door that's been taken off like here one that's taken off the hinges to give a nice flow through the home this is no door exists, just like our Woodside home. So you'd have to hang a barn door to give privacy. And the main reason is, if you look, this is the shower and this is the bed. So if you work at different times or you need to get ready at different times, you're gonna to have to be subjected to the noise. Yeah, it's something we still have not got used to with American style master bedrooms with the ensuite. It's very strange that they just wouldn't have a door. I think Woodside do bathrooms really well. I, it's one of the things, even when I compare it to TriPoint and the others, I think their level, how they design them, the layout is really, really good. So you've got WC again. So you've got one on the ground, one in the bedroom, one off the living room, and a very nice yeah. size. Okay. This is the size, somebody had considered this a bedroom in London. I would say. A single a bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you could definitely get a single bed in here and this is the size of the walk-in so i'd say very sensible size walk-in wardrobe mm. <laughs> look at 
that soft climb. The uh, next part of the house will be upstairs. And I think this is, this is only set up as a two bed, isn't it? So it's the second bedroom. Yeah, very nice. Even though features like this, where they've got this sized um, window with the bottom, I, I find now that we're looking at homes, you start to appreciate all the different mm -hmm. things that design features. That so another design feature to point out is this doesn't just go straight into a room like you would in the UK because you need to make use of the space. You've got this nice landing area which you can just come sit here, enjoy the views out of the multiple windows. And I quite like that it's broken up into multiple different views. We'll show you another property which has huge windows that wrap around the corner, which is also nice, but I like it sort of framing the Vega strip. So this is the second bedroom. So we're passing the bathroom, but we'll come back to that. So this is the main... So is this, so is this, the master suite was downstairs. What's considered the master suite? This one? No, downstairs. This is much smaller. Ah, okay. I was thinking this was the master suite because no. it gets this. So this is outside space number three. So off of this room, you have a nice, again, roughly about the same size as downstairs, huge outdoor area. Look, you've got two full-size chairs, space space yeah lots of room that. here so something i would say is where it it lacks in backyard space the, all of these properties give you back with the balcony or the decks that you get so whilst you don't have the backyard space you have all this room and you can enjoy the elevations and the wonderful views over Vegas. yeah it is quite easy to confuse the master suites here because they are both very good sizes the reason you know is because the bathroom leads directly off and is far more impressive right. downstairs. So you'll tend to, it'll only be the master room that gets that type of bathroom. Not to say that this is any less impressive in this case, it's just... You're right, the other bathroom downstairs is nicer. I think if it were us living here, we'd, we'd, live picked, we'd definitely yeah. live upstairs. This is a very impressive and nicely laid out bathroom. It's just, if you compare it to what's downstairs, it is slightly less impressive. And still a very nice walk-in size as yeah. well. I would say whoever lives here, whoever takes each bedroom, both get very nice. Because usually there's a somebody that ends up with the worst bedroom, and, or a noticeably worse bedroom. I would say in this one, no, there is no bad bedroom. Can't remember the name of this plan. What was it called? <laughs> Amber. Okay, so that's a tour of the Amber. Let us know what you think in terms of the investment property. Would you rent from us if we owned this place? Uh, and let us know what you would do with the downstairs space. Would you leave that as an extra space that people can just use or would you convert that into the third bedroom? 